sometimes when you're working on bikes at home, you might not notice things that a pro mechanic might notice. So today we've actually got a bike in, a customer brought in and said, the gears just aren't working, really frustrated with it. You guys just strip it down, do what you need to do. It's actually a really interesting bike because we found some really, really weird, subtle little problems that you probably might not notice. But I can't take credit for this, so I'm gonna hand over to Jake, who is right behind the camera right now, and he's gonna talk you through what he found. Most of the problems were down at the back wheel, weren't they, Jake? Yeah, and pretty much all the uh, issues talk we discovered. Us, talk us through what happened. Um, so first we found with this, it, it came in originally for, the, the main issue we knew about was the shifting issue. Um, so when rebuilding the bike, we, we started to look for the clues as to why there was a shifting issue. And the first thing I noticed was the, um, the mudguard bolt was actually interfering with the cassette because uh, it was too long. It had a really long bolt in there. Um, and then after fixing that issue, I noticed that actually the cassette was sat way too close to the frame. It was actually touching, um, which was It's creating. removed loads of paint, isn't yeah, it? So like, yeah, so um, not cool. No. And then also the chain was in the lowest gear was also then that made that rub against the frame and was causing quite a lot of issues. It was a real mess, wasn't it? Yeah. It was very confused as to why this might be. So for take the cassette off and see what, because um, it's an, uh, an XD um, hu uh, free hub, I was looking to see, because obviously the XD and XDR. So I was trying to figure out which, which one, maybe, maybe I thought they'd put like a mountain, that it had like a mountain bike one on by mistake, which it turned out it did. Um, but identifying that's not the easiest thing if you don't know. So I, I ended up ringing Hope and they were very helpful in telling me that they actually engrave the XDR ones with XDR and the XD ones just have nothing on them. So, which is mad because you think the road hub would come with the road free hub, wouldn't yeah, you? But, but it doesn't. It's yeah. got a mountain bike one hidden in the tech box somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that came. Um, ended up fitting that um, later on on one of the evenings, and it didn't fit, which was very confusing. So, I ended up just leaving it till the next day. Um, and then when I came in that next morning, I just took everything apart again. Um, but this time, completely took the. Uh, axle out and everything and when doing that notice the non-drive side bearing was actually not pushed in and it's been is, like that since factory yeah like the customer's been riding these wheels yeah, since it's, since they it's, were built yeah it has been it's been a problem since it uh since it's been bought which is quite scary and what's scary i guess is the, the shop that done it just said oh yeah that's how they are it yeah just, you know not like that yeah, yeah that set's been rubbing and bearings been out so a simple thing push the bearings back in free hub fits perfectly yeah and now yeah. i think we've got the proper gap that we should have. Yeah, no more binding, everything's working absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, a few other things, we like the um, the front mech is uh, missing this little, uh, it should have a little clip on here. Yeah. Uh, just to stop this pin dropping out, because if that drops out, it causes quite a big issue with that front mech. Yeah, and I think this has been under a bit of strain, because it had like a bent chainring bolt as well, and I think as that's been straining, it's been really forcing this around and popped off that little E-clip. So we've just got a new E-clip to fit, fit there for sure. And then, I think that's about it, isn't it? Just, yeah, uh, just need to uh, do some finishing up on this bar tape, yeah. get it a little bit neater <laughs> after the uh, mass attack of electrical tape on it. And that's it, job done. Yeah, all good. Thanks, Jake. I hope you guys find that a little bit useful, some of the problem solving that we do here as bike mechanics. If you want to know more about Jake, he's got his own YouTube channel where he went to Norway and completely destroyed <laughs> a city bike. Yeah, Go check it out, much. link down below. If you like this sort of content, let us know. Until the next time, take it easy.